This fight is an amateur featherweight bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And when the fight begins, the referee in charge is Dave Selyestad. Introducing the first fighter to the cage, out of the blue corner, he holds an amateur record of three wins and three losses. And he weighed in at 144 and a half pounds. Fighting out of Koa Kingdom, Fierce fans, make some noise and welcome to the cage, Hazard Hector Lopez! Hear the Koa crowd. They always come pretty hot. They do. They're a close knit team for sure. I love it. Well, with over a year away from the cage, Utah is happy to welcome back Hector Lopez, one half of our co-main event here tonight. Hector hit the ground running back in 2017, garnering three wins in just six months. With the backing of the likes of Bobby King and Joel Haro over at Koa Kingdom, Hector looks to snap his losing streak here tonight. Destiny, you had a meteoric rise in your MMA career. Four wins to start, and then a three-fight losing streak to follow. You then snap that losing streak against Lauren Kittister back in 2018. How does Hector look past the last couple of losses, and how does he get his hand raised here tonight? I mean, I think he's had some time out of the cage since his last loss, so I think he just needs to really understand the improvements that can be made in that amount of time. And also, Hector's changed his camp since then. You know, at, at that time, he was out of uh, the garage, I believe, and now it's the, kind of the same team, but a new gym, and um, everybody in that gym is leveled up. I mean, Bobby King now being where he's at and the head coach of Koa Kingdom, I think that's going to show he's alongside Bobby King and Joel oh, 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 Hotto. And then also training with our main event at Fort Circle. So I think, I think he's going to be just fine, honestly. He's got all of his wins by finish. He's had one fight over the last four years or so. He's had a five-year and three-month amateur career. And a little bit of data here, he wants to win the fight quickly. His average fight time in wins is 2 minutes and 14 seconds. His average fight time in losses is just over two, or just under two rounds, I apologize, 5 minutes and 45 seconds. So it goes to show he's got to get this finished quickly, and that is the path to victory for Hector Lopez coming out of Koa Kingdom. And right now, we are going to bring back the other half of our co of the event. It is Seth Roman. All right, and introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He holds an amateur record of three wins and three losses and weighed in at 144 pounds. Fighting out of extreme couture MMA. Fierce fans, make some noise and welcome to the cage, Seth the Roman Empire. A roller coaster of a career and prime to perform in our co-main event. He is Seth Roman, fighting out of Extreme Couture. Seth has had a busy year with two fights under his belt and a one and one record. Seth looks to exit 2022 with a big win here tonight in our co-main event. Jason, we have at least one to two Extreme Couture fighters on every single fierce card. Seth trains with some of the best fighters walking the earth today. What can the audience expect out of someone coming out of that gym? I expect him to be fully prepared. Um, I don't expect him to gas in this fight. I expect him to see a, a professional in there. Even though he's an amateur, I expect him to be a professional when he's in that cage, along with Hector Lopez as well. Now, Seth is a recently fast finisher, under a minute in his last two wins. And I thought to myself when I was doing my boards for this card, he reminds me a lot of Extreme Couture's Riley Pellegrino. Well, lo and behold, Riley Pellegrino has actually cornered Seth in the past, and so it goes to show there's fast finishers over at Extreme Couture, and they are always ready to put on quite a fight. Seth Roman versus Hector Lopez here tonight in our co-main event at Lightweight. And I mean, Hector Lopez. Uh, Hector, sorry to interrupt you, Destiny. I was going to say, uh, Hector already won the shoe war because he's wearing the Jordan 3s in, in the cage on the bottom. He wore them. You can see him down, right down there, the Jordan 3s. So, to me, he's won the shoe game for the night. Sorry, Seth. <laughs> Maybe fun? even the hair game. I'm just Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, Seth, man. Just kidding, Seth. You're good. You're good. I'm just talking crap. <laughs> Seth rocking the contender series. I can series do that with your friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> An interesting fact about Seth Roman, he was once walking around at 205 pounds. He was a UNLV linebacker, a big, straight Deep to the body there by Hector Lopez early. Spencer definitely, I mean, I'm sorry. 
set definitely has the um, rain. Nice Chris shot. Big shot clipped on the chin is Hector Lopez. A beautiful shot landed there. Nice and a beautiful team. teeth to the body. His kicks are showing a lot of power here. Hector looks, yeah, yeah, Hector looks cool good either. tonight. Uh -oh. Seth That's Roman deep. searching for the deep guillotine deep. here. Nope. Oh, Able to pop out of it is Hector Lopez. Now on top is Hector Lopez. Seth Roman on the bottom here. Guard is open, so let's maybe see him step over that leg. Oh, takes right it back. back. Chasing the arm now is Hector Lopez. He's got Anthony Lobato in his corner right there, so I think he's Oh, he's sinking that in. He might have a triangle. Oh, and he beautiful. does! Wow! Turkey oh, nice. wow! Wow! Destiny, that is very tight. What are you seeing right now? Oh, I'm seeing. I don't see him sliding out of that. He's got a really good lock on the legs. The foot does seem to be waning just a little bit here. Seth Roman almost close to getting out, but yeah. maybe able to get the submission. We don't have the angle here in the broadcast booth. Hector's grabbing he's that arm. He's extending that arm. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, that arm bar is tight. He's gonna he's tap. Wrong. He's, uh, he's got his hand up. He looks, oh, no, wow. The submission defense by Seth Roman, unbelievable here tonight. Oh, wow. 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 What defense oh, by Seth this Roman. Is, wow. That's some heart right there. And that looked as deep as possible for Hector Lopez. That's got to be tough getting out of that right now when you That's were so close to victory. That's right there because you don't, that was tight. That was very deep. He, he held in there. Blake, you and I talked about the, these, this next, the co-main event and the main event. These guys are these guys are both ready for the pro ranks, in my opinion. I totally agree. All four of them here at the top of the bill are potentially ready for the pro ranks. We're hearing the love from Hector Lopez. Oh, he took a big knee to the body. It looked like it hurt him a little bit. Seth, Seth Roman Roman's going to work. Down right now. And now searching for the back is Hector Lopez. One hook almost in. But the beautiful wizard there by Seth Roman to stop any sort of transition to happen. But there it is there. He lets go of it. Hector Lopez on the back now searching for the submission. Hector Lopez, one submission in the first round of his career. That's tight. Searching to lock up the body triangle on the bottom is Hector Lopez. This would be his first win in four years. Final 10 seconds. Can Seth Roman survive? And he's oh, not going to be able wow. to do it. Seth Roman submitted by Hector Lopez. Guys, his first win in 1,737 days. That has got to feel good oh, for yeah. the fighter out of Koa Kingdom. Wow, congratulations, Hector Lopez. Very impressive performance by Hector Lopez. And again, as mentioned, he's had one submission win in the first round, and his last win was against Evan Shoemaker. That was a TKO in the second round, but his second submission under his belt here tonight, Hector Lopez moves to four and three, and you got to wonder, this is a number one contender's fight, like Zach Partridge said earlier on. Who is he going to fight in the future? It looks like it might be Zach Hamilton. Could be Zach Hamilton. I like that matchup. I like that matchup a lot. That puts uh, Hector at four and three, and that puts about Zach Hamilton at five and five two. And two. I, I mean, is that a is that a 145 title fight? That's what Zach, Zach Center. That's what Zach said. Let's go. Zach Partridge at the top of the intermission. Hector Lopez snapping a three fight losing streak here tonight. Back uh, to his old ways. Here it is, Jackson Hoops. All right, here's fans referee Dave Selya said has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes and 56 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to rear naked choke out of the blue corner, Hazard Hector Lopez! Congratulations, Hector Lopez. Honestly, it's been a long time. I'm just glad to finally fucking win again. Let's go, baby. Absolutely, yes. Listen to that crowd. You earned it. You trained under Anthony Lobato. Great jujitsu in his show tonight. You almost had the arm bar, but you stayed on it, and you were able to land the rear naked choke. I owe it all to these guys, honestly. Anthony, Bobby King, Marshall, Skeen, all those guys back at the gym. I owe it all to those guys. They put a lot of time into me. 
Awesome. Well, congratulations. You fought a worthy opponent from a worthy gym. Super happy for you. Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone, for coming out. My family, my support group. Couldn't do it without you guys. Love you guys.